Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Monday, November 25th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. A major prominence eruption blasting off the sun today created a spectacular coronal mass ejection that's headed directly away from Earth. We also have snow for the Thanksgiving holiday. Keep calm. It's boom time. Snow and rain to slow Thanksgiving travel in the Rockies, Midwest, and the Northeast. A cross-country storm will deliver, deliver wet and wintry weather to California, from California to Maine this week. It's insane. Winter storms are expected for California and Nevada's Sierra Nevada Mountains through Wednesday, according to the National Weather Service. Warning up to three feet of snow falling at the higher elevations in the southern Sierras. Full forecast coming in a moment. Monday is expected to bring snow to Minnesota and Wisconsin, as well as the Great Lakes region of Michigan. Say it ain't so. The parts of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, and the eastern Adirondacks of New York are under winter weather advisories for Tuesday morning, with freezing rain and icy road conditions expected to impact and snarl travel. A cold front is expected to sweep the country starting Wednesday, but as of now, forecasters expect temperatures in the New England to stay high enough that the preci precipitation it brings with it will be mostly rain for, from Boston to New York. But uncertainty still swirls around where exactly snow may fall on Thanksgiving Day and Friday, but upstate New York and New Hampshire and Maine could see powder and then the Great Lakes snow machine, yeah, that kicks in. Here is the exclusive forecast for Monday night through Wednesday night. For the Rockies, most of the snow falling in Utah and Colorado. We've got snow Wednesday evening through Thursday night, which will be the Thanksgiving holiday for the Northeast. And here are the predicted totals. AccuWeather local storm max of 15 inches. Uh, for the Northeast. And we also have severe thunderstorm threat for Gobble Day Wednesday night through Thursday. The entire Southeast has some severe weather warnings, flooding downpours, isolated tornadoes, and damaging wind gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour possible. A quick look at snowfall analysis for the last 48 hours show you where much of the powder fell. A Really big blip there in the Catskills or the Finger Lakes region. Kind of interesting there. But heavy snow, mostly for Washington and Montana, picking up a foot or more. And here is the GFS model through the first week of December. Let's walk it through. Overnight heavy snow is going to continue to fall in the Rockies uh, from Colorado to all the way to the Sierras. Take a look at those totals in the South Sierras. In just nine hours, we could get four feet of snow. Holy macaroni. That is insane. So that's just through tomorrow. And then it's going to hit us uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and bring a significant amounts, 26 inches to the central mountains here. So really good for the ski resorts. And Wednesday and Thursday is when that second Northeast event occurs. And you can see that's where the snow is predicted with event after event burying the East as well as the West. Unsettled weather in the Western U.S., snow in the upper Midwest, and freeze warnings for most of Central and Southern Oklahoma. A coastal low elevation rain and high elevation snow will extend from the Pacific Northwest into parts of California early this week. Moderate to heavy snow is expected from the Intermontane West into the Central Rockies through Tuesday, which is their lose day. Several inches of snow is expected over the upper peninsula of Michigan into Northeast Minnesota through Tuesday. France sees heavy snow, turkey blanketed as well as Record snowfall in Calgary. Take a look at Paris. There is Paris, France, buried in the global warming goodness. And the French Alps also indeed buried. Take a look. Here is the entire Alps covered in white. Turkey is blanketed in snow as well with temperatures as low as 23 degrees, uh, which is 
much colder than people are used to there. And there is record snow in Calgary. Environment Canada initially predicted 15 centimeters, which would fall across Stampede City, but a record-setting 30 centimeters hit some areas Sunday morning, leaving city crews scrambling to clear major roadways like Crowchild Trail and Glenmore Trail, achieving just 22% clearance by afternoon. Calgary Weather Record Records on X noted the city saw the deepest November 23rd snow since 1955. That is 70 years, folks, with the day overall ranking as the seventh snowiest November day ever recorded, going all the way back to the turn of the century and even earlier. Holy macaroni. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Normal activity worldwide. Good news there. As we take a quick look over live at Iceland, the eruption continues. The seventh eruption this year alone has been reduced to one main cone similar to Bob. Give him a thumbs up over at Afar TV. They do a great job reporting on that eruption. Worldwide Volcano News for Monday, the 25th of November. Ibu to 8,000 feet. Dukono to 7. Liwatobi to 10. Fuego puffing and passing. Sangay, 15,000 foot blast. Popo to 20,000 foot today. Liwatobi to 10,000 foot. We've got Semadu, who knew? Now you do. Puffing and passing. Santo Huito, 14,000 foot puff today. Ibu on the list. Fuego to 15. Sangay to 21,000. Popo to 18,5. Nevado de Cruz. A uh, 21,000 foot blast there. Ibu puffing as well. Libatobi to 14. Semaru volcanic ash. 14,5 for Raventador. 11,000 for Ibu. Wrapping up worldwide volcano news for the day. Space weather today. A magnificent prominence eruption was observed beginning at 1730 UTC off the southwest limb. And it's headed directly away from Earth. The event flung a large amount of plasma into space and created a coronal mass ejection, which is now visible on SOHO. So we'll show you that in a second here. Because the event is not facing Earth, the CME is directed away, and there is it's all quiet on the three-day geomagnetic forecast. But flaring has increased X-flare probability now up to 20%. Gorgeous. Here's a quick look over at Lasco C2 and some of those eruptions. There's that prominence eruption. So that was the first one, and that's the one we're just getting in that I just showed you. So it's going to take a few more hours before we get that data, but gorgeous nonetheless. Scientists detect the most powerful cosmic rays ever, and their unknown source could be close to Earth. This is a mystery. But these scientists found uh, a cosmic ray, which consists of electrons and antimatter counterparts called positrons, observed at energies all the way up to 40 tera electron volts. That is 40,000 times stronger than the energy of visible light. This, these cosmic rays were spotted by the High Energy Stereoscopic System, or HESS Observatory in Namibia, and because cosmic rays lose energy as they travel to, through space due to their interactions with light, magnetic fields, and other particles, this means that for cosmic rays of this energy to be detected, their source must be relatively nearby. I wonder if they considered the sun. <laughs> New ocean data shakes up our understanding of climate change because it goes against the narrative. Here's the paper. Early 20th century cold bias in ocean surface temperature observations. What does it mean? Well, it means that if we look at ocean and sea surface temperatures from 1900 to 1940, they are much warmer than they are today, which NASA and NOAA erased from the land temperature numbers. But it is still present in the sea surface temperatures. How do you like them apples? Hundreds more Nazca lines emerge in Peru's desert. In fact, they have now doubled the amount of Nazca lines. Can you believe this? Sakai is the lead author of a survey published in September in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that found 303 previously uncharted geoglyphs in only six months, 
almost doubling the number that had been mapped as of 2020. The researchers used artificial intelligence in tandem with low-flying drones that covered some 243 square miles. Their conclusions provide insights into the symbol's enigmatic purpose. Yes, it's aliens. Have you heard a man claims to have traveled to the future during a coma and urges the evacuation of the U.S.? Thomas Matthew woke up from a decade-long coma with an extraordinary claim. He had traveled to the future, and what he revealed to his family after regaining consciousness has sparked curiosity, disbelief, and a fair share of controversy. His message? Americans must evacuate the country immediately. He saw all major cities on fire. Leave a thought below. Ten foods to boost energy and immunity as we enter World War III and winter. Winter can be tough on your immune system, but the right foods can help keep you strong, like vitamin C from citrus. Packed with vitamin C and antioxidants, citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons, and grapefruits are known to boost the immune system, so go get it. Garlic as well. It's rich in allicin a compound with antibacterial and antiviral and antifungal properties. Go get some ginger, anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. Sweet potatoes, don't leave them out. This vegetable is packed with beta carotene, which the body converts to vitamin A. Get yourself some spinach. This nutrient-dense, high vitamin C and antioxidants, well, can combat free radicals and support your immune system, as well as yogurt, which has probiotics, and mushrooms. They contain beta-glucans that support the immune health, as well as almonds with vitamin E, a potent antioxidant that helps regulate immune function. And turmeric, or turmeric, contains cucurbin, a compound known for its anti-inflammatory and immunoboosting properties. And sip some green tea. It's loaded with antioxidants, particularly... Catechins, which help fight off viruses and bacteria. And grow your own food, for goodness sakes. The holidays are coming up. Give the gift of open pollinated heirloom seeds from the, Native, the Alliance of Native Seed Keepers, Birdie County Seeds. Now 150 varieties in stock. $2 per pack, the cheapest for open pollinated heirloom seeds on earth. If you buy $25 or more, shipping is free. Add our coupon code ORP2024 for an additional 10% off. And I'm about to do an interview with Ransom Godwin over on his channel, 420 The Freedomist, or I forget what it's called right now. But we're going to be talking about the concept of Micronova, what the science tells us, what does it mean, and can our sun even Micronova? Well, join us. Well, I'll let you know where that interview will be posted. And that's a boom to knowledge. Get the seeds. My goodness, they're the cheapest on earth. And everyone is happy when they get to grow something. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the Al Gore rhythm. Al Gore is not very happy with all this snow. And please share the video. We need your help to grow. I hope you're all enjoying the Thanksgiving holiday. And gobble, gobble. We love each and every one of you. And that's a boom. Nee, 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 nee.